Hello Collective and Chosen Ones, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy you're here and it's been a while since I've done a more involved video about what's going on. It's been a while because I have spent so much time just in introspection, just reflecting on why certain things have happened. And it's also about going within and knowing that before uh, the next chapter of manifestation and the next level, I'm always going to come up with lots of challenges. And that's been what's been happening with me. Not only have I to sort out a lot of the things that are in the past that is that was still bothering me, but it manifested into a health issue, which I've now well and truly done and have resolved and and I'm fully recovered now. But during while this is happening, I had to see the darkness and everything that's happened to see the light in order to see the good side of it and what what lessons I have to learn. Now part of that, whilst I was going through that, I've discovered something that helped me to get through all these issues pretty much straight away through the breathing modalities and the the reframing exercises some of you may have watched the videos on the reframing breathing meditation i highly recommend that i've started to record them in the uh, reframing or breathing playlist so if you haven't gone through some of these videos i highly recommend that this really helps anybody that has been stuck with a lot of things in the past without knowing that it's been in their subconscious for a while to come to the surface fairly quickly without having to think about it or lamenting over the past trauma so today I am going to read the cards, but at the same time, I'm going to go through the polarities of each card so that if you resonate with either the positive or negative, that's something to think about. And if it's a negative, there's a quick way of me letting you know how to get rid of it. So it's crunch time now for every single one of us to go through an awakening and we'll still be going through that from as early as 2012 to 2032. A lot of people are now starting to wake up and things that they don't understand why has been happening, they're now understanding it had to happen. So relationships that broke down, you're now understanding why that didn't happen with that person. And it's because spirit has a higher calling for you. So I'm gonna start reading the first card, which is the star card. This is a really beautiful card that signifies that your wishes are being fulfilled as you're coming out of a traumatic events that's happened in the past, you are seeing the light. As I mentioned before about the, the darkness that you went through, you're now come through to, from the darkness, you're seeing the light now. You have your, you're on the right path with a lot of inspiration and, and a lot of renewed hope. If you don't resonate, especially about having the faith in that it will come through, it means that the, the shadow side of you is that you've got to work on is the loss of faith and you have been disappointed and there were missed opportunities and you're still mulling over it. So the quickest way that I have been finding that has worked really well is to Breathe in, knowing that your wishes will be coming as you ask for it. And as you breathe out, you say goodbye to the loss of faith. 
or any missed opportunities that was not for you and that had a purpose it wasn't designed to give you an advantage in that sense so for example you lost the opportunity in working with somebody but it turned out that it may be i'm just giving you an example it may be that that person has been operating in an in a way that is been not good for you so that person may have been a scammer they have been you know working with the undercover underground and a lot of people just didn't know that and you didn't know why you missed out on that chance so spirit was taking you out of that equation and got you out of it but at that time you were quite dis on in despair so this is something that needs to be looked at the next card is the two of cups this is a really good card uh, signifying that you've got renewed friendships, connections, you may be meeting somebody else, somebody new. For any of you that has a relationship at the moment, it's renewed through marriage. And basically this card is just full of loving emotions. Now if you don't resonate with that and you still have an emotional block against somebody in particular, it talks about you separating from that person and you saying goodbye to that person and because it no longer serves you being in that situation. So as you breathe out, you can just say goodbye to that, to, to say to yourself that that person or that situation is better off somewhere else and I am ready to breathe in and take anything that's new that serves me in the highest pro, um, highest light and spirit will always give you something that you want but it may not be the right timing so just don't worry about that anymore and but it, just to work on things you got the three of cups which signifies Another good card of friendships, abundance, lots of community uh, events that you may be going to, good communication that's happening, soul contracts. And if you haven't thought about that lately, it's time to breathe in and ask for more of that. And the opposite side to that, if you don't resonate with that, in terms of relationships and renewed friendships is that you may have some disputes and miscommunication with that person feeling left out. Now all it is is that if it consistently is like that is to breathe out and say goodbye to that that no longer serves you and keep repeating breathing in with the positive things that you want in terms of this particular area asking for abundance asking for more communication that aligns with other people and if you're working on making amends with the other person then what you need to do is breathing out and asking for maybe forgiveness if there's something that you've done that's not right to that other person but if it isn't and you just want to let this go because it doesn't serve a purpose is to breathe that out you've got the seven of cups which signifies that you've got a lot of choices and this card looks like this person's a little bit confused and a bit tempted to do to pick something that may not be right because they haven't got the full picture so they're kind of like contemplating and just working out, shall I take this, shall I take that? And all it is, is just to ask you to weigh up some options before you take that decisions. So as you're breathing in, 
just ask to attract more something that you resonate with in your highest good feel the energy coming in and if it still doesn't feel well and or it doesn't sit well with you it's time to breathe out what doesn't serve you that blockage that indecision and to just not make that decision until you get a good feeling so keep repeating the same breathing patterns until you attract in your breathing a positive one I hope this makes sense now if you have any questions please put in the comment box I'm happy to help you with it there's no set questions or particular script that I can give you it's whatever you feel right now if you fully feel right about one card and if it's a positive card then stick with that and you don't have to work on the breathing out consciously part so as you breathe out you don't have to worry about it you just say okay well that's that's gone you don't really need to think too much and that's the whole beauty of this breathing exercise it's not like the traditional Wim Hof or any other and I'm not bashing the other breathing techniques it does take a lot of time to go through it and this doesn't need to be don't make things complicated when you're trying to forget about the past traumas you need a very quick modality to help you through and that's how I've gone through a lot of the things that have really weighed in on me for several years you got the eight of cups which signifies that this person has truly let go of things that don't serve them. There has been quite a lot of heartaches and pain and this is about releasing from anything that don't serve this person. Now, of, of course, this is not just talking about a female. It could be you if you're a male and it's about time to moving on to better things and really walking away from things that don't serve you because you were disappointed and and you're stuck and abandoned now this card really has a lot of freedom in it and i really love this card it's just leaving this whole dark past behind and just moving towards the light I really love this card again the shadow side is that if you don't resonate with walking away is is that you have walked away but you've regretted what what you've walked away from now if you're feeling really awful about it you will need to ask the person for forgiveness or you need to go back and revisit it but it has to feel good about it and so this negative part about it, it or the shadow side is about you abandoning this because you wanted to just escape from it so if you're going to do the breathing out exercises to get rid of it is to say that I say goodbye to things that I can face and walk in with spirit instead of running away. So I say goodbye to things that I run away from. I no longer need to run away. And as I breathe in, I face everything that's brand new that I welcome and refuse to get stuck I welcome anything that I can qualify as serving me as near in the highest good you got the page of swords which signifies that there's a restless energy but you are also curious of learning new things this is the card about education and really picking up some new ideas it could be to do with your work it could be anything 
to learn new things to pick up on life, life skills. And I really like this card because it's, it's about you having that motion to go forward and keep learning like a sponge, really. This is my sponge for learning card. Now, at the same time, if you don't resonate with this, but in a negative way, you might feel that you have no need to to do anything, to learn anything, learn any lessons. And to work on that is to say goodbye to being arrogant about not moving forward. Because as you breathe in, you welcome anything that gives you the opportunity to have a lot of education and learn good things about life to get ahead. You got the Queen of Swords, which signifies that you are currently really going through life with a lot of positive and with a lot of power. This is a person that soldiers on and really gets through to everything. It's very strong. Now, this card also can be quite intimidating to others, but at the same time, you don't really have a problem with that. You don't really mind people that look at you like that because you're all about having people that vibrates at the same time as you. You don't take bullshit. You really don't want to come across people that don't have your back as well. So the negative side is that you don't have any confidence to go forward and you may be taken advantage of. So to breathe out these, these energies, if, if there's a a negative energy is to to say goodbye to that now as i said i don't really have anything a script to, to let you know but if you at any time feel very very much not confident about going forward with this particular area anything about life and not confident is to say goodbye to the confidence so fill in the blanks how are you feeling at the moment is that you don't feel good about certain things, put that down in a piece of paper and then breathe that out. And as you breathe in, is to ask the higher spirit to give you exactly what you want. And it's unlimited. So the last card is Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles signifies that there's a community that you are associating with and it's all about it's all about learning and sharing your ideas, listening, teamwork. You're really, you know, getting out there and really going back to from hermit mode in the past to just manifesting things. But you're all also about helping other people. So as I said before, the collective and chosen ones, you are now having a double, double mission. Not only are you helping yourself, but you're also spreading out all the good things for the highest good to the community. So you've got the Seven of Pentacles. This is a really beautiful card. Every time I see this card, it always reminds me of my, all my achievements, be it mental achievements, goals, work, anything that I have asked for. It's sprouting through, it's coming through. And I realized how much patience I had and it's all paying off. Now, if you don't resonate with that and you're still thinking, why, is, why am I being impatient about it and losing faith and getting frustrated? Simply, you just have to breathe that out and saying goodbye to it because it no longer serves you. Every time you breathe out, it's something that doesn't serve you any well anymore. And you're now asking for gratitude that things have, are now coming through 
due to your patience. It's that simple. You don't need to go through anything thing that is too complicated. And that's why in the past, I've looked at all the different breathing exercises. I've done quite a lot before on the different modalities of other breathing exercises and it hasn't helped. Now this one by far is just really quick. It doesn't make you, when, when you're breathing out and eliminating that, it doesn't make you think too much about the past and how you suffered in some ways with trauma. And so, so that's the beauty of this modality. You've got the Eight of Pentacles. This is a really good card as well. It's, it's my skills full card. So this is about a person who has achieved so much through gaining a lot of skills and picking up their craftsmanship. It's all about them really going through their method and that they're going through a lot of methodical process, and patience and determination. This person has a purpose in picking up certain skills. This is not just a very strategic path on this person, but it's also about what their life purpose and is, is about why they're doing things and learning different things. Now you don't resonate with that and you're feeling very much um, burnt out and confused about it and not having experience is to say goodbye to when you breathe out is to say that okay those things that really confused me that didn't didn't serve a purpose when I picked those up it's not meant for me so I'm saying goodbye to it and then as I breathe in I'm picking up other skills that is for my highest purpose. Now these are all the cards that I have, but I'm going to read out a few more things that picked up um, during my channeling, which I haven't been able to provide you. So you're leaving everyone who are not un who are unhealed and not settling for and you're not settling for less. Every time there's an attack on you, you level up and are fully protected. And as I said, with these exercises, you don't need to worry about things anymore with att psychic attacks because it just leaves you feel automatically when you feel bad, you just have to breathe that out. You have a lot of unmatched energy with others because you're now moving up to a higher level. So a lot of people you have left behind and you don't, don't really need to worry about that anymore. A lot of people are still vibrating and dealing with an old energy of yours or an old version of you. As I said, it doesn't matter anymore because you're no longer in, in the same vicinity as them in energetically. So you would have found out that lately you have not felt like meeting up with these people and you keep giving them an explanation. Well, not an explanation. You're giving them a reason why you're not wanting to meet up. It's because you are working on yourself. You don't need to apologize to those people. You're learning how to see the light in periods of darkness. So you no longer worry and get upset anymore when you come across setbacks and when you have undergone certain, you know, say health issues, it's the body telling you, hey, you've got to work things out. It may sound dark, you might feel lonely, but please see that glimmer of light to get through. Spirit's always there for you. You've got a lot of serial bullshitters around you who are all talk and no actions, and you know that now. So Spirit's asking you to really clear that clutter, clear all those energies, all those people that don't serve you. Your absence and silence has inspired people to change. 
this is absolutely great when you because you used to be around all the time and now you don't they're feeling the void but it's not your job anymore to be around them because your energy is simply really not nowhere near them so your absence is paying is providing a lesson to them I need to see if there's anything else. I've written a whole list down. So the chemistry between you and others have changed. So you no longer resonate with certain people that you used to think that you have a lot of chemistry with, like in terms of love relationships, it's no longer there. That's because you can't take them to where you are now unless you really right vibrate and resonate with them, which I doubt. Not a lot of people will come with you or get close to you nowadays. It's just the way things have been. You have been chosen to fulfill a path and you have to honor that. People that are trying to slow you down, only making you grow faster. So the more people are trying to put you down or slow you down and making things harder for you, it's only going to make you stronger. A lot of people are shocked that you've moved on or moved away from them. Again, that's not something you worry about anymore. You don't really care. It's not that you're, you're awful about it. You just don't resonate with them. And you're now starting to wake up more and more about why you were hanging around with a certain people or why you were involved with them it's because spirit is now moving you away and at the same time giving you both each different lessons you're elevating and these people are still stuck so they've got to fulfill their karma they've got to pay their dues so since you took your power back people can't easily read you or they ca cannot read you at all the person that you've been thinking about that you had problems with it, this is i think it's specifically a love relationship is the boy cried wolf that person's been giving you lies and the more lies they do now the more they pop the boy cried wolf nothing works anymore no one believes in them because the bullshit is just now coming out. The veil has lifted. You can now see people very clearly. It's like coming out of a storm and the rain, and now you can see, all you can see is very clear skies and you can see through everything. You've cut your loss with certain people and you're now realizing why this has all happened. You've turned pain into purpose. So spirits are now giving you this reason why you've gone through all those losses and past opportunities it's because it's for a higher purpose you're no longer a victim but you're a victor i've mentioned that before in the shorts a lot of people that you no longer speak to or have connection with they miss your light and your energy you used to be around all the time and now you don't. You know where to be found. You can't actually go back to that energy. It's because it's just so different. They don't actually miss you. They miss those lo your light and your energy, basically. It's not your problem anymore. You become unstuck from everything that has kept you bound. So you're dropping all of those responsibility that doesn't belong to you. And that's exactly what spirit wants you to do now. You no longer have a contract with these people because they refuse to move on or some of them just think it's too hard. So you, you have done a lot of self care and preserving your power and preserving you, you to continue on your path. 
Let me see if there's anything else. There's quite a lot. So tell moments before major breakthroughs that you may have witnessed lots of things that has happened to you. Tell moments like setbacks and issues. And I mentioned that in the earlier, in the beginning of this reading is that this is a signal that you are manifesting. You're always manifesting different things, but as you get through to or come across lots of tower moments, it's a signal that is a test for you to work out what you can pass in order to achieve this abundance and things that don't serve you. So tower moments is to break down faulty foundations. You've had a lot of major pullback on energy towards other or certain people, the people that you don't resonate with anymore. You've, you've really pulled back, right back completely. And they, they're just saying behind your back, they're saying, oh, what's happening to this person? What's happening to the collective? Now, what I'm trying to say is that that's fine. You know that. And the best thing is that the more they think that you're not doing well by pulling back, the better off you're going to be because you do not need to tell them what you're doing. It's in your best interest to keep everything that you are up to tight lipped, including close family members. Not a lot of people have your back. So be, please be aware of that. You've had a lot of some significant breakthroughs at the moment, as I mentioned. With myself, the breakthrough is being able to go through this breath work to quickly get through to all my past traumas that I've had. It's been with me for a long time. And through reading out these cards and doing readings for you has really helped me at the same time as helping myself. So you have been fighting a lot of battles that nobody knows about, and it's not important for anyone to know. You're not here to achieve a medal because spirit knows what you're up to and spirit knows your capability and spirit's going to reward you. And this is your mission that you need to worry about. Like everything that you do, spirit can see. I just want to see if there's anything else. So you're a truth sayer. You know everything and you can see through everything now. Is You've been given the gift of intuition and please use that wisely. I saw this quote from one of the YouTube events. Broke people will always try and make you look rich. Negative people will hold you back. Envious people will think and say you're better than them. Now, these are the types of people that it's best to stay steer clear from. If you can't find anybody that's similar or remotely similar to your energy, all you need to do is just spend time working on yourself and just keep staying within and maybe just work with, with spirit by just doing a lot of your inner work. Now, I hope this helps you because it has helped me a lot in the past few weeks, just even with the breath work and notifying, just checking with myself, what is the negative energy? I'm able to get rid of my pain and within a short period of time. Please give me some feedback and um, I welcome you to subscribe if you haven't. And please give me some likes because this helps me to get the, the post out more to more, more people. I'm sending you lots of love and I'll leave it from here and Sending you lots of love and blessings. Bye for now.